Steel and cement manufacturing result in enormous emissions of air pollutants and carbon dioxide. How can these emissions be eliminated? I'm Mark Jacobson, Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Stanford University to tell you how. First, in both cases, the electricity and heat needed for manufacturing can be generated by wind, hydro, geothermal, and or solar sources alone, eliminating most emissions. Electric furnaces, such as arc furnaces, induction furnaces, and resistance furnaces, already exist to produce high temperature heat from electricity. Renewable electricity can also be used through resistance heating to produce heat up to 2000 degrees Celsius that is stored in fire bricks, which are special kiln bricks. Fire bricks eliminate the need for furnaces and allow intermittent wind and solar to provide heat for industry as needed. During steel production, carbon dioxide is also emitted while converting iron ore to pure iron. Today, that conversion is done mostly with coal. Carbon from the coal combines with oxygen from the iron ore to produce carbon dioxide that is released to the air, leaving pure iron. Using hydrogen produced from clean, renewable electricity or green hydrogen instead of coal eliminates carbon dioxide emissions while still purifying iron. Using hydrogen also requires a much lower furnace temperature, saving energy. During cement production, carbon dioxide stored in calcium carbonate is emitted to the air, freeing of calcium. However, some companies now use basalt to replace calcium carbonate as the calcium source. Basalt contains calcium, but no carbonate, eliminating chemical CO2 emissions from cement production. Another type of cement, geopolymer cement, also eliminates most all carbon dioxide chemical emissions. In sum, eliminating emissions from industry is practical without the need for gimmicks such as carbon capture that only increase air pollution and carbon emissions.